When times are tough and times are hard Someone's gotta teach the puppets about PR Things can't stay the way they are Someone's gotta teach the puppets about PR When puppets want to pull the strings of the media PR Puppet Theater PR Puppet Theater Hi, welcome to PR Puppet Theater, the show that teaches puppets how to uh, pull the strings of the media. Um, as a 20-year professional in journalism, publicity, and press relations, I've learned some of the secrets of uh, kind of getting your hand inside the media's uh, torso and kind of twisting them around. So it, that's certainly relatable if you're a puppet. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different, media training, and I'm proud to say that my guest is uh, that noted animal actor, uh, Lambeau Field. <laughs> Thank you. You're too kind. Now, if Lambo looks familiar, it's because uh, he's been an actor for uh, animal actor for maybe thirty or forty years. His best known role is playing Gene Wilder's a lover in the movie Everything You Ever Want to Know About Sex But Were Afraid to Ask. Um, Lambo's touching performance uh, led to Wilder's character ending up being so broken-hearted that he's drinking wool light on a street corner. Um, <clears throat> Great scene. It's one of my favorites. Um, it was a great experience. Now, um, actually, Lambeau is written a tell-all autobiography about his uh, role in Hollywood, and it's called Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? Uh, pulling the wool off the uh, Hollywood. And uh, basically, we're, we've been booked to help him do some media training for his upcoming book tour. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you some questions uh, that I'm going to pretend to be a journalist and ask you the type of questions that you might uh, receive uh, when you do these radio interviews that I've booked for you. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, now your book focuses on what it's like to be a young animal actor in uh, the crazy, hazy days of the 1970s. Um, what do you think the wildest thing that you did was? Well, you'll have to read my book to uh, find that out, David. Um, okay. That's one thing that you never actually want to say. Um, I don't. No, no. Uh, um, but I thought it's a good teaser and we're supposed to sell the book, right? So if I tell everything, they won't need to read the book. Okay, that's a mistake that many amateurs make the first time out. Um, you have to sell it in order... Or you have to tell it in order to sell it. Um, otherwise, uh, people don't have a reason to buy it. Um, you know, it, it's a waste of an interview for the radio DJ. I know guys that'll just go click, you know, and cancel the interview right there when they say that. Um, so we're gonna try again, okay? It's okay, I guess. Okay, um... Lambo, you had a chance to work with a legend like Gene Wilder and everything you ever wanted to know about sex but were afraid to ask. Um, what was it like to work with an acting legend? It was okay, I guess. That's it? Well, yeah. Okay, um, it's not that way in the book. Yeah, but I wrote it when I was two weeks out of rehab and angry and had a lack of calls from my coworkers. I feel better about it now, and I might be up for a big screen version of Mary Had a Little Lamb with Angela, Angelina Jolie, and I don't want her to think uh, I was out of turn. Okay, the publishing company is spending a lot of money to send you out on this book tour, and a lot of money for this media training. Um, the media is going to ask these questions. Oh, well, I let them ask. Uh, I don't have to answer. I have my dignity. Uh, you lost your dignity when you signed that book contract. Um, it, you lost your dignity when you took that cash advance. Um, do you want to be sued? No. Okay, I... well, exactly. So let's start again. Uh, there's a chapter in your book titled How I Helped Gene Get Wilder. It seems to suggest that you had a romance. Um, can you tell me about it? Well, let's just say that a film set can be a romantic setting. And, um, and leave the rest up to your imagination. <laughs> okay, I don't want to imagine it, and neither does any journalist that's interviewing you. The media wants you to be explicit about what happens. That's what's going to get the inside additions to this story. That's what's going to get the entertainment tonight, okay? Otherwise, what's the point of interviewing you? Maybe the media wants things that way, and that's why it's all screwed up. 
But there are some folks out there from old school who appreciate the fade out after the kiss instead of the flailing bodies on the bed. You know, that, that sort of imagery works great if you're watching old movies on uh, Turner Classic uh, Movies, but uh, these days you got to have sizzle with the steak. So just tell me, was Gene Wilder a good kisser? He was better at other things. Like what? You know. You know, things. <gasps> What's that? That's the sound of the dial tone after the disc jockey connects you for being boring. Oh dear, I don't want to be boring. It's just that Gene is married these days and I don't want to cause his family any harm. It happened 35 years and two wives ago. Okay, I don't think uh, this is going to be a problem. Look, I know times are changing, uh, but interspecies love is still hard for some people to accept. Sure, there are some in the younger generation who have no problem being out of the pen, but some of us from the old school still have a hard time being straight about it. Look, I understand, and that's why your book and your cause are so important. Um, think of some young sheep, or maybe it's a cow, and uh, he's working with the... Uh, He's working with George Clooney now on a big screen remake of Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Um, your book could save a cow from a life of secret shame, of running around. I guess. But I feel weird about talking about Jean. I know, I gussied it up for the book, calling it a romance, but the truth is, it was just sex. Just sex? Yeah. The night after our big romantic scene with the God of Belt, we just kept going after the camera stopped. After that, we just went our separate ways. I regret it in some ways. How come? Woody never looked at me the same way again. Well, uh, why was that? I don't know, you know. He's not very expressive as a director. He leaves you on your own devices, so I never really knew what he thought about our, my performance. I had... I had heard that during the rushes, he was planning extra close-ups of me. Ooh, I've heard that when that happens, it's a sure sign the director is in love with you. He is. And once the word got back to Wilder and I had a rendezvous, shall we say. Anyway, once he heard that, my part was drastically cut and so were supposed roles that were written for me. You know, Annie Hall was written for me. Really? Yes, really. Diane Keaton's role? Yeah, but that one night with Gene ruined it. He didn't even wake me up to say goodbye. Oh man, this is all great stuff. The media's going to eat it up. If anything, it'll help your career because it'll lift you back up in the public eye where you belong. Believe me, if Woody Allen is able to finance a film because uh, the sheep is big box office, he won't care about a 30-year snub just because you had sex with Gene Wilder. Do you think so? I know so. It's hard. I know you're right, but, you know, I just want to do the right thing. Trust me, I'm a publicist. Telling people that you had sex with Gene Wilder is the right thing to do. If you say so. Okay, there are no puppets in the room, so it's safe to talk. If I can te teach a puppet the basics of PR, I can do the same for you. I can help you sell your product in uh, ways that you never even thought possible. Why don't you go ahead and look at my email. It's right here. If you have any questions, give me a call. We can work something out. And uh, I look forward to uh, helping you uh, pull the strings of the media and stop being their puppet. Closing theme to PR Puppet Theater, where the puppets learn about PR. Closing theme to PR Puppet Theater. Please someone give this guy a job. Someone's going to post this on their blog. Someone's going to post this on your blog. Someone's going to post this on your blog. Post it on your blog.